the application process for high schools, which comes on later in the process during the eighth grade year. It's been smooth and I give a lot of credit to um, the teachers and faculty here at Langley who have prepared us so well for this process. In the beginning of December we have SSAT tests, so that whole trimester they prepared us with the tests and also the process of uh, uh, applying to a high school. One trimester you have to take public speaking class and it's really useful because for eighth grade I had it first trimester and we just basically practiced on interviews for most of the time. So we just, with Miss Edie, we just sat down with her and she gave us a random topic and we just had to really focus on what she taught us, the main traits, like eye contact and clear speaking and not in loud and firm handshake and all these things. I was at the beginning year, I know I did too, just to make sure I was ready. And um, there's like little things that they told us, like not to do like fidget too much or say like you know too much or um or so just little things like that. And I know I was going in, I was like super nervous, but it was like the teacher. I know I had this date, so it was um it was pretty fun. And I think I learned a lot from those mock interviews. And so when I went to my interviews, it kind of felt like natural, and it was more of like a conversation than an interview because that's kind of the point of an interview is to get to know the candidate better. So when we went, it was more of like a conversation. It wasn't really just asking questions and responding. It was more of like, I get to know you, you get to know me, and it was like building a relationship. And you just really have to get organized. Like you have to know when's do, what is due what, and what do you need to do, like what's required. And luckily for me, I pretty much know what high school I really want to get into and what others I pretty much would really like to get into. And I'm not applying to too many schools, so I can really just focus down on them. So for the process, you just want to do it early and like do it well. The fact that I've been here for so long, you know, I've never really been out. But like as I go to my high school interviews, they they're always complimenting about how prepared we are, and they're always you know going on and on about how Langley School students always come to school. They're so prepared. They're turning their essays, and they're great candidates. So I think that speaks a lot for the kind of teaching that has been going on these past nine years during my life, and the fact that these tools that I've been learning and I can go outside of this school and this campus and apply them and that they get recognized it's a really great experience and I think that it's not like you don't really notice it because it's just like what they that's a standard here like the type of teaching that they're teaching but as you go outside and you look at other schools you, you think to yourself wow like Langley was a really great school and I can't believe I'm this great. It's always been very well received at all the schools that we went to talk to, whether we applied there or not. Um, Susan is very um, well connected, and all the admissions directors out there know her. They know her department, and they know really what they're getting with the, each one of the kid. And they always say they're very impressed. And Susan always jokes with us parents because when it comes down to the, the mock interviews, for example, we're all like, oh my gosh, you know, they're not going to be able to answer any questions. And, they're going to be fidgeting, and she always says they clean up very nicely. And, uh, we do hear that from the high schools and how well our, our students are interviewing out there. And, and really, um, you know, it's just one of those things where you do have to step away, and we have trusted the system. Truly, the whole process of leading up to that moment is, is amazing.